Jeffrey hates women. And he even hates men. He hates everyone. And you know what? Everyone hates Jeffrey too. Jeffrey has this weird, autistic, underground, controversial belief that is known as the black pill. That means that Jeffrey thinks that women only look at one attribute in men, physical attractiveness. He is so sure that if you don't have the right eyelid shape, that she won't be into you. That if you're not six foot three, she won't be into you. Jeffrey doesn't realize that he stinks. Like literally he stinks. He thinks it's because he's not six foot three, but he literally stinks. I don't know about you, Jeffrey, but I'd say you've got bigger priorities to focus on. Adonis. Adonis navigates relationships extremely well, but he was not always like this. Adonis went through the stereotypical young man's journey of getting a girlfriend. He was so motivated by love, so he improved himself. He went to the gym and started eating clean and became more confident and improved his body language, spoke to more people and held eye contact. Eventually, he attracted his first girlfriend and he was so happy. But this is not a story with a happy ending. Young Adonis got complacent. He got what he worked for. He eased up on his gym training. He started eating worse food. He got a little bit lazy. His girlfriend at the time Time looked at him as if he was a different man. This was not the man that she was originally attracted to. And so she left him. And Adonis was heartbroken. But he looked inward. He didn't project that with resentment or hate or anger towards his ex. He asked himself what went wrong. And he realized a very, very important lesson about dating. If there's been one major mistake that I've made in terms of dating, it's dating party girls. But if there was a second major mistake that I've made in dating, it would be getting into a relationship and then getting complacent with the activities, the hobbies, and the habits that actually made me attracted to that girl in the first place. And you've probably experienced this yourself. When you're single and horny, especially if you're on semen retention, your drive, your motivation, your discipline skyrockets and you're doing so well. You're tracking your macros perfectly every single day. Your sleep is on point. Your training in the gym is fucking fantastic. But then you start attracting women and it's so interesting that when you get what you wanted, your life sometimes gets worse because you've already got the woman. So now you can you can really go on a long bulk. You can really bulk up now because you don't need abs because you've already got the woman. If you thought of this, bro, you're a jackass. Like, oh, but I've already got the girl, so I don't need a six pack anymore. Now I can get like big, fluffy, and strong. And shut the fuck up, bro. If you are not the man that she was originally attracted to, things can get very fragile. She was attracted to the version of you that was going to the gym six times a week, that was on his purpose, that was so disciplined. And as much as she would see you and almost want and ask for you to like slow down on your growth, that was almost like a test. She wanted you to pass the test and you fucking failed. She organized like a date for you guys on a day that you were supposed to go and hit a workout and you went, yep, let's go and do it. I don't mind missing the workout. She couldn't help but subconsciously feel less for you. As much as no woman will come here and admit this, it is the total truth. Women don't even know that they're kind of testing you. They are always observing you. It, it's in my belief that no matter how close you are to a woman, you could be married for 50 years with a perfect marriage. I believe a woman can only be on your side 95% of the time. 5% in her is always this level of self-preservation, no matter how close you are. The 5% in her feels kind of insecure and always wants this level of reassurance to make sure that you are that guy. And so when she says, let's go get some ice cream and you just broke your diet yesterday, she really does want ice cream. And you know, it'd be a nice moment for you guys to have some ice cream together. Of course it would. But she remembers that you ate pizza yesterday too. And two days in a row of breaking your diet, well, bro, that makes you look kind of bad. What about your lifestyle? You used to wind down and wake up early. But when you spend nights with her, you go to sleep quite late. You watch movies and you just do nothing. You just fucking, what do girls even do, bro? They just eat shit and just fucking watch Netflix. <laughs> Let's make you understand this by putting you in her shoes. Let's say you meet this girl. You know, you really like her. She's really impressive. She seems different from other girls. She has like ambitions and she's really feminine and she's exactly your type. And there's something you really, really like about her. Like one hobby that she does that you really like. So for the majority of us, it'll be that she goes to the gym and she like looks like a gym girl. Cause let's be honest, bro. Oh, uh, to have a fucking gym girl GF, bro. Inshallah. But then let's say that you see her change and actually deteriorate in your relationship. That she starts like missing most of her gym workouts. As much as you know, you, you've got a level of love for her. Like you would feel some level of unattraction and negativity. This is the common dilemma of a guy who gets into a relationship with a woman who then gains weight. And you know, this sounds quite like vulgar to talk about, but it is the truth. We are attracted to that initial person that we see and we hope to be more attracted to them in the future. We really hope that we don't see that person get worse with us. So make sure that you are not that person who gets worse. The only relationship that you should be in is the one where you get better. Not complacent, not the same, but better. You should be 
be with a woman who helps you fucking press down on that gas pedal. If you're with a woman right now and you feel like you've been getting worse and you've been lying around eating fucking junk food and stuff, you'll believe me, but you won't take action on this because we've all been there. But that's not the right relationship for you. No man is gonna watch this video and suddenly think, oh yeah, that's the message I needed. I'll finally break up with this <laughs> this stupid bitch. <laughs> But you've probably been overthinking the relationship recently and thinking like, oh yeah, shit, like my growth is actually more important than this relationship, but my growth is deteriorating. I don't envy the position that you're in right now because I've been there with a few girlfriends and it's an incredibly like sad experience when you have an attachment and a loving connection to someone, but you just realize like, this is not the relationship that gives me fuel for my growth and my purpose. And as much as, you know, you get these constant thoughts and like, wait, I could change this and I could do this and I could do this. You'll find a woman who makes things click and you should have high standards and get into a relationship when that happens. Too many young guys, bro, the first girl that shows them any level of interest because these young guys have been so lonely and deprived of intimacy that the first girl, who's not even that great, shows them any kind of interest. You know, the girl kind of says yes to their advances. They'll make them the girlfriend because you get to secure some pussy. That's pretty much the main reason. Imagine if pussy didn't exist, would you still be with her? Because if it didn't, you're pretty much just lying in bed with a Jeffrey friend. Something to think about, man. I wish someone slapped some sense into me when I was in these stages. I really wish like I had like a group of guys or like a fucking YouTuber talking to me and telling me like, we've all experience that get out of that relationship man if you're getting worse in a relationship it's not the right one for you you would really benefit if you had the feeling of like brotherhood and community and a group of friends i have a discord server that's completely free and we've got like 60,000 young men who talk about things like this and they're like oh bro like you know i've gained weight whilst i'm in a relationship and you know all this like we speak about a lot of stuff trauma no fat getting jacked in the gym we speak about loads of stuff it's completely free to join if you scroll down right now to the description there's a discord link click on that and you can join also click on the share button underneath this video and send this video over to a jeffrey friend who might need it. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.